going from being a woman to being a mother, from being a man to being a father, from being a couple to being a family. It's a life changer. I still feel very privileged to be part of people's lives at this crucial change in their life and crucial time in their life. Hello there, it's Veronica Gordon here. I'm the Drive Town in the Isle of Clara. Hi, I wonder if you could tell me please. And I was saying to Barra is the wee jewel in the crown of the Hebrides, I think. It's extremely peaceful. I remember getting off the boat and I felt a connection with it. There was just something about the place that felt right and I felt good here. I just knew that my time in the mainland was done. It's not everybody's ideal to light a fire before they go out to work. You know, to some people it might be a chore, but it's actually quite satisfying when it lights and it works. And you come back in and you've got water. Do you know what? I don't know anybody else that's in the same position as me. I've said it to a lot of people. I've said, oh, I'm the midwife on the Isle of Barra. And they go, oh my God, you're the only one. And they're like, yeah. I don't think about it anymore, but I don't think I've ever found anybody else that's the midwife anywhere. What happens if my water's breaking or anything like that on the boat? <laughs> Traditionally, women have been advised to leave the island around about 38 weeks gestation. Really, they could be off the island for four or five weeks before they're actually able to come back home again. It means that they're happening anyway. It is a source of anxiety, financially and emotionally. Having to be flown off the island, for instance, you know, in an emergency situation, that's always at the back of their mind. What if it's a challenge? There's no doubt about it, that is a challenge. I always thought that one day maybe I would come and work or try living on an island. Okay. You know, when I tell the story to people, it's just another story, isn't it? It's just another life. It's just another episode in somebody's life. But sometimes I wake up in the morning and I think, oh, gosh, did that really happen? Did it really happen? 